President, distinguished Senator, and Dr. Surajuddin Ajibola Bashiru, also central. The speaker is on. And I thank Mr. President for the recognition of my chairmanship. And uh, I know it's also a call to task to respond to certain issues, particularly as concerned the subject matter of the motion and the non-governmental organization and civil society organization. And first and foremost, I must join my distinguished colleague to commend uh, Senator uh, Olori Egbe, who also happened to be the first chairman of uh, the Committee on Diaspora, Civil Society Organization, and NGO. Uh, just as we said, I align with uh, many of the submissions that have been made here, and uh, I find particularly insightful the uh, submission of uh, Senator Utashi, particularly looking at it from the global political economic uh, point of view of this donor intervention in our society. And I align because as a people, we must even know and assert our sovereignty. What do we want as a people? How do we want to pattern our development for the purpose of our people and not to just be a service agency of our society? Much has been said by Senator Adetumbi uh, from Ekiti, particularly on the uh, overlap in terms of use of resources when it comes to governmental agency, whereby you have like double source of revenue. But the most uh, important one that we need to look at, at was raised by uh, my leader, Senator Ali Udume, as to the role of donor agencies, particularly with non-governmental organization and civil society organization. One aspect is first, agenda setting. They use these resources to NGOs and CSO to set their own agenda that promotes their own interests rather than the Nigerian and interests. Secondly, too, we cannot have a society whereby, yes, we recognize that non-state actors have become very important components of democratic development. But the non-state actors cannot stand like an island of their own, regulating their own procedure and taking steps and actions that undermine national security and general national welfare. I will talk, for instance, on two areas. In the health sector, many non-state actors collect money on behalf, supposedly, of Nigerian people to intervene in the area of health. Are we seeing any of such intervention? And secondly, in the area of national security, a lot of resources are going to the hands of non-state actors, which are not regulated. The question is that this money, are they not being used for purposes of sponsoring terrorism? Are they not being used to even undermine democratic development of our people? Because I know uh, that some organizations, they fund them deliberately to even undermine democratic development of our society, and the agenda is to even harass our democratic institutions in the name of civil liberties and human rights development. So I would say that this motion, as important as it is when we get to prayer, we have to expand it, and we must take the bull by the horn. I learned that during the Eighth Senate, there were protests as to whether the National Assembly has the power to regulate NGOs and civil society organizations. The basis of the sovereignty of Nigerian people that have been given to elected representatives is to make law for good governance of our society. If part of good governance is to regulate non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations, particularly in the area of finance, and ensure that we don't expose our society to destabilization because of agents of foreign interest. Then we will have to look at that in terms of couching the prayer, ensuring there's adequate regulation. I will not allow ourselves as friends of the people to be blackmailed by any section of society on the basis of promotion of civil liberties or advancement of democratic rights. The only expression of democratic rights that Nigeria has done is to give all of us here their, their mandate to represent them at this ALO Assembly. Thank you, Mr. President and distinguished colleague.